I'm James Chow, host of China US Focus, with my guest today, Zhou Bo, former senior colonel in the People's Liberation Army. Zhou Bo, welcome to the program. China is a new generation aircraft carrier that's unique for being domestically designed and built. Military analysts describe this as a milestone, but should the world be concerned or encouraged by this uptick in capability? I certainly believe uh, this is a milestone for the Chinese Navy because, uh, as you said, this is the third Chinese aircraft carrier and it's the latest uh, model of aircraft carriers. But if you consider the fact that the, Ch- the PA Navy actually was not so combat tested, especially compared with the Chinese PLA Army and the Chinese Air Force, which at least uh, fought the Korean War, so you can understand how a drastic change has actually taken place in the PLA Navy for the better. Now we have uh, so many uh, state-of-art ships and uh, the third uh, aircraft carrier uh, uses the latest uh, technology in catapult. So I believe uh, absolutely this is a milestone for China. Well, this is a turnaround from earlier generations of Chinese aircraft carriers that were either repurposed Soviet vessels or built according to Soviet-era designs. What can you tell us about this new model, including what you just mentioned there, the difference in catapult launch technology? Yes, this is the third one using the latest technology that is similar to the one found in General Ford class, the latest of American aircraft carrier. The first one, as you know, is uh, imported uh, from uh, Ukraine, which is basically uh, a second-hand aircraft carrier. So when we build the second aircraft carrier, we have to work on it to find out how it is made. So it is almost the exact copy of the first one. So the third one is totally domestically made, again, but with new technologies. Uh, I'm happy you mentioned this electromagnetic technology because even if you talk about a catapults, which is different from a ski jumping. At Christmas 2008, the Chinese Navy's first Somali escort formation set sail for the Gulf of Aden. How important was this when you look back in the context of Beijing in terms of blue water ambitions? That is a naval force that contributes globally. Uh, if uh, historians look back uh, at uh, the time when we send our task forces to the Gulf of Aden, I would consider that is the very beginning of the Chinese Navy becoming a blue water navy. Because before that, uh, Chinese ships have uh, also visited uh, different places in the world, but basically there are uh, protocols for friendly visits. But it is in the Gulf of Aden that the PA Navy has actually conducted the so-called uh, military operation rather than war. So that is a kind of a military operation. And uh, since then, we have been sending ships nonstop to the Gulf of Aden. Right now, we have sent uh, uh, 41 uh, task forces that have uh, protected over 7,000 ships. As I mentioned before, uh, the PIA Navy uh, is not very much combat tested. But ever since the end of 2008, the PLA Navy is becoming stronger and stronger with more experiences of fighting overseas with interactions with the International Navy.